Oh, goodness like, gracious. You guys, like, we all went through horror, but Jews mostly. Yeah. Like, this is like, there was no option for Jews, basically. Yeah. It was either to like, be killed or to be, a, you know, a slave for the, for the Nazis. Well, not, you know, not, it's even slaves, you see. Mm. So that's to some point, they kept them as slaves, but then they decided to kill them all. Yeah. This is what ethnic cleansing. And now, yeah. they, the nation which went through such a horrible thing, yeah is doing to somebody else like this. But it's not a nation. It's just I the know. state of Israel. Well, because that is the Jewish right. people, we don't, they're not allowed to us uh, tell, you know, to talk, you I know? know. I went there to the Jewish Community Center, and, you know, uh, April the 18th, there was a sign, uh, you know, for Israel Day Parade. And I wrote, and a free Palestine, in small letters, uh -huh. and they arrested me, charged me with criminal mischief. Here? Yes. You, you must be kidding me. No, no. Like the police? Canadian oh, police? Oh, yeah, yeah, the, you know, the, the, the Jewish community campus, you know, they called the police and the police charged me with criminal wow. mischief. Wow. Yeah. And then what, what What was next? So then they had a condition, the police made a condition that I couldn't go within 100 meters of the Jewish community center. So I went to court and after four days in prison, I was four days in prison, Goodness a gracious. judge said, you can go back, you can demonstrate, you have a right to demonstrate, because this is Canada. Oh, God bless this judge. Yeah. You know, like, this is something that I am prepared to be arrested also, because I'm writing everywhere, mm. you know, that this is a genocide, mm. and then the, the, the last nation mm. who could do such a mm. thing, yeah. that is like, these people should understand much of Yes, oh, yes you know. but the children, they're indoctrinated in, in the Zionist schools in Israel. They I don't know. know anything. But you know, I'm not only in Zionist school in Israel, yeah. also here. Yes, yes, here too, the Hebrew schools are Zionist, yeah. Yeah, yeah like I lost a, a friend, actually, I thought that she's a friend, oh. but uh, apparently I don't want to have anything to do with her, oh. you know. What did you I don't understand. She had no nourriture with me. She was asking for food. Oh, I Usually I bring bars, you know, uh, I don't to, to give to people. But uh, because uh, I have a cards only. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the thing is, uh, she is Polish, but with some kind of Jewish background. Mm -hmm. And then she hates Arabs to the point that I cannot deal with her. You know. Yeah, I get that a lot from you know fanatics. You know. It's like a fanatic. And they say to me, you know, like, oh, the Arabs want to kill us. I say, excuse me, it wasn't the Arabs who made the Holocaust. Exactly. And on top of that, they stole their land, basically. Yes. yes. That was yeah. what, the Knagba, you know? Yeah. That was, like, murderous. Yes. Like Same they, thing they, in 47 is happening now again. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And 67, you know, and then whatever. It's just, like, like a horrible thing. Yeah. And the United States uh, is just in a pocket. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're very religious, they, basically. The, the, the United States voted in favor of APAC a resolution people today. like this, you know? In Security Council, I saw it on Al Jazeera this morning. They put in the resolution for a humanitarian pause again to bring in food. Because for the United States, it's, it would be embarrassing if everybody starved to death, you know? So, but they still give bombs. It's and then they pay, the like, right now, like, uh, they uh, approved of $14.2 billion, yeah. you know? destroy these yeah. people and then on top of that they are sending bombs like 2,000 pounds bombs yeah. you know like, indiscriminately so last you time know, they like killing the, uh, these people uh, last time they used the uh, bunker buster bombs the JMAP you know the 2,000 pound whatever you know there was three hostages that were killed at the same time three Israeli soldiers oh, they, they killed their care. own soldiers oh, they, they don't care about anybody they don't care they don't care about them. They just need this land, yeah. and then they like uh, like from the beginning they decided to kill everybody. I Besides, have a problem with Poland. I want to tell you. Yeah. I applied for the, to recognize my citizenship because Why my not? parents were Polish. Absolutely, Polish. absolutely. So I gave them the documents yeah. to show that my parents came from Poland. Yeah. My father was born in Poland. You know, yeah. to register yeah. and everything for his birth. They said, "Oh, just because they were born in Poland doesn't mean that your parents were citizens." I said, what? That's true too. That's true too, actually. You know, if you, uh, if you will be, like, if, if somebody will be born here, well, because you see, in Poland there is a law, here there is a law of land. Like, for example, my son was born here, and automatically he became Canadian citizen. Yes. He got Canadian yes. citizenship. But it's not the same Me, in Poland. I came here, yes. but 
and then I had to apply for it, and then, you know, yeah. and then eventually I got it. Important, uh, though, is like a, it's a, like a blood relationship. So if your mother or father, it's mostly mother, yeah. is a Polish citizen, yeah. then you can apply for a citizenship. Yes. It's a big, different kind of way. That's, that's why, they're I asking, guess. They're asking so you for have to proof, find out. They were asking for yeah. proof that my parents were citizens. They asked right. me for a passport of my parents. He said, how could my parents get a passport when they were escaping from the Nazi occupation? There was but no you know what? If Polish you, state you can, you can do this way. You can go to the archives, you know, like in Lublin, for example, if your father was born there. I got the archives. I have the family register with my father's birth, you know, written by hand. I see. And I gave that to them. It's in the but president's office now in Poland. So because your, they don't your, know. your father wrote himself? Well, somebody wrote, you know, like... Uh, uh, no, but because there, there was no computer at, the, at yeah. that time. But then how to prove the citizenship? Because that's true. No, you I see, mean, if, 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 it, if, if, if... It's not even that. They say that my parents were not citizens of Poland because they were Jewish. That's, that, that doesn't matter, you see, because many Jews were citizens, Polish citizens, and many wasn't. Like many Germans wasn't, even though they lived in Poland. And so on. Like lots of people, yeah, Armenians and all... So, you know, the family so, registered there, my parents were there like for 500 years. Oh, then, then, my dear, this is not a problem. It shouldn't be a problem. It should be, but it is. Because, you know what, they're going back to the 1934 definition of citizenship. The Nuremberg you definition so? of citizenship. Just because you're born in the country, they don't give you citizenship anymore. You know, the thing is, for example, I have a little problem right now because my, my son is very lazy, yeah. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. 38 years old, you know, and yeah. doesn't have a Same wife. My son. You know, doesn't have a wife, doesn't have children, you know, lives with some kind of cozy. Yeah. So, sorry for that. At least he has somebody. No future with that. Now that it's like, uh, honestly, I'm saying what Young it is. people don't have the will to work no nowadays future. because no they, there's no future. They think there's no future for them, and they're right. No, the he, he, his future is play the games, you know, computer games. Oh, that's yeah. the future, yeah. you know, that's the main goal of yeah. life. Yeah. So it's like a very distressing country to me. Terrible, terrible. Very talented, to look for. capable, yeah. but you know what? So what? Yeah. So what if you won't put the, 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 your goals in, in front of you? Yeah. But anyway, he kind of neglected many times. I was saying, well, send me some documents. I went to Poland, you know, and then I want you to make a, like a, to register you and then to, to, that you will have a Polish passport. Mm. The stupid, and then Polish passport, like, that is a passport for the whole union. European Union, yeah, so it's good. Because they didn't have time for that. Yeah, she doesn't have time for that. Now yeah. my parents are dead. Yeah. I have a bigger problem right now. And then what I learned from the embassy that in order to get the Polish uh, uh, passport and things like that, even though he was registered in my passport when he was small as a Polish citizen, mm -hmm. but now they made it this more difficult that the uh, like head of the uh, this kind of voyevodstvo, which is like a, some kind of province, you know, has to approve uh, based has to approve that kind of uh, a petition yes. uh, based on the fact that you have a, uh, uh, you have a, you have a place uh, when you are registered that you, you you are there. Can you imagine? So right now yeah. become very difficult, yeah. and I'm like really really published, yeah. you know? yeah. and then like all from both sides of yeah. the story, yeah. and then now I'm having this problem because of my stupid son, I'm sorry to say, mm. you know? Yeah. So I could like really feel sorry for you, but you know what, yeah. I wouldn't resign no. if I would be you. No, no, it's, it's a matter of principle, you know, like exactly. how dare they take away, you know, absolutely. the citizenship of my parents. Absolutely, you're yeah. right, absolutely you're right. Yeah. And then I don't know how to do it because you see, if that would be only up to me. I went to the consulate here, downtown, yeah. you know? Is, is it uh, right That was now? five years ago I started. Because they, they sold the building, yeah. Yeah. And then I don't know if there is a consulate anymore here. Oh, wow. So the, the information I got, it was on the phone. Like I, I called some numbers. I, I saw the know, Polish consul in the springtime. I saw the Polish consul. He was at the uh, Holocaust Memorial. Really? I met him there again. So, so he's still you around. Think, uh, well, I Dr. Vashinsky, I think his name is. Dr. Vashinsky. I don't know.
don't know. Well, that is something. Yeah. But you know what? If you need any 